a secret service agent was robbed at gunpoint while out in California for Joe Biden. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about a secret service agent being robbed at gunpoint in Tustin, California, which is in Orange County. Now the agent was out there in California for Joe Biden. He was not with the president, obviously, because you're talking about somebody getting robbed at gunpoint while they with the president. I mean, there would be no expense spared to find this person and put them either six feet deep or in your deepest, darkest hole in the penitentiary making bit rocks to little rocks. Believe you me, they don't play around with the president. But this was not with the president. This was after a work assignment. So maybe he might have been at that event with Jack Black and Barack Obama. And if you don't remember that uh, incident, I'll just play this video right here. What you see on the stage right now is Joe Biden getting ready to freeze up. Then you have Barack Obama, Jimmy Kimmel, everybody else on stage. This is a big fundraiser. And I think he left G7 over in Italy early to attend this fundraiser. So maybe at a certain point after this event, the agent goes home or to visit a friend, family member, or something like that. And in the process, he gets robbed in California. Now, the agent's gun did go off, but nobody knows whether the suspect got hit, whether the suspect got deleted. Nobody knows that right now. All we do know is that the Secret Service agent got robbed at gunpoint in California, Orange County. Now, California, what's going on? Y'all robbing secret service agents? Listen, whenever they find you, you about to get cooked. I'm talking about barbecue, fricassee, whatever you air fry. They are gonna completely ruin you once they get you. All right. If you're a regular person, maybe not so much. But since you robbed a secret service agent, oh yeah, it's, it's gonna be some smoke in the city. Now, before I go any further, let's check out the actual news clip here. And of course, I will link to everything in the box. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Secret Service agent who was here for President Biden's visit to L.A. was robbed at gunpoint. Officials say the agent had just finished work when the armed robbery happened. Let's go live to Fox 11's Ed Laskos in Tustin tonight with the latest. Ed. And Marla, all of this going down in this quiet upscale community. And if that's not enough, the neighbors now finding out that the one firing the gun shooting is a federal agent, a Secret Service agent. Watch. Gunfire in the affluent Tuscan Fields community off Edinger Ave. We now. Now, OK, let's let's just talk for a minute. If you're in this affluent neighborhood, residential neighborhood in Orange County. And as far as I know, Orange County, that's like mega country, right? This ain't really. Los Angeles, downtown, this ain't quite that. This is a better area. So the question is, why do we have armed robberies happening here? Is this normal? For you guys who live out there, Southern California, you're familiar with Orange County, or if you live in Orange County, if you live in this area, give me some information about what's happening with the crime in this location and if it's normal to have armed robberies happen here. Oh no, it is an armed robbery and the target, a federal agent. The community here is really shocked. They're just really surprised because it's a very quiet neighborhood and nothing really happens here. You know, we get the occasional porch pirate. Only this is no porch pirate and the victim is no helpless neighbor. It is a U.S. Secret Service agent, a Secret Service agent robbed at gunpoint. We found out that it was like a Secret Service um, agent. It's like a shooting or something of that nature. That'd be crazy. Yeah, it's really, it was really strange, really crazy. And it gets even crazier. There is gunfire. The agent is the one who opens fire on the robber. I'm certainly glad it was him instead of me. At least he had the ability to take some defensive action. These orange cones now turn to evidence markers placed on the ground by the spent shell casings. Count them one, two, three, six of them in all. Definitely heard a lot of. Now, the question, another question, was the agent followed perhaps from where he was to where he wound up? Is it a personal situation? Is this agent from the area? There's a lot of questions because this just doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right at all. This could be much bigger than just a robbery. This could be something that is planned at a higher level 
that would not impact regular civilians in this location. That's kind of what I'm thinking, but we'll see how the whole thing plays out potentially. Of, uh, I thought it was fireworks because it's almost 4th of July. Yeah. And uh, it was maybe about five or six, I thought, shots that I heard. Not sure if the robber is hit, he grabs the agent's bag and then drives off in his getaway car. Here it is from nearby security cameras. It is a 200406 Silver Infinity FX35. The Secret Service now out confirming it is one of their agents, but not the ones assigned to the protection detail for President Biden's L.A. visit last Saturday. Instead, the agent involved in the shooting, off duty at the time, returning from an assignment. Still gunfire here and from a Fed, more than leaving its marks. Kind of okay, so if you were not assigned to protecting the president while he was in Los Angeles, but you had an assignment, and you left at 9.30 p.m., then what was the assignment? Was it not to protect the president? Was it to do something else in relation to protecting the president? Like, what was your actual assignment? Are you based in Los Angeles? Do you only get activated when the president comes out? Or are you from D.C.? And did you travel with the president to Los Angeles? That puts us on edge a little bit, but obviously... Uh... We have caring neighbors here, and so we feel safe. You know, I think this is a one-off incident. Now, a lot of that's what they're hoping. Another neighbor saying it's really a sign that something like this could happen anywhere doesn't make a difference, she said. So as the investigation goes on tonight, they are still trying to find that robber to see if he was hit by gunfire, to see if the agent was a good shot. They're also trying to find that getaway car. And the neighbors around here, as they say, just trying to catch their breath, hoping this won't happen again. For now, we're live here in Tustin. Back to the west side we go. All right, so that's Tustin, California. Yet another. Tustin, California, you have a Secret Service agent robbed at gunpoint. The agent does not appear to be hurt, but maybe the robber was, potentially. The agent let off six shots. And obviously, if you're a trained agent, you're a federal uh, agent who is protecting the president, usually, I would suppose, or doing things that aid in protecting the president, you're going to be a pretty good shot. So maybe this person is injured. Maybe we're going to find out who it is uh, at a certain time because they got the vehicle and I'm sure the agent was able to catch a glimpse of them. We're going to see, but as I close, I want to say this, shout out to California, you guys and this crime is just out of control. Even in a very nice area, you out there in Tustin, Orange County, beautiful neighborhood. Neighbors are like, they don't know what's going on. This ain't gangland, inner city, Los Angeles. This ain't that. Southern California, yes, but not necessarily gangland. So why would a thing like this happen? You would expect it in downtown Los Angeles where you got all these crackheads roaming around, gangs and everything. You got the Mexicans and the blacks and the whites or whoever, the Asians, all these gangs, but you don't have that out there in Orange County. I, I don't think you do, but then again, I'm not Southern California experts. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm just trying to figure out why a secret service agent was robbed at gunpoint. Was he targeted specifically because he's an agent? Was he followed from somewhere? There's a lot of questions, but what we do know is that crime is an issue. And obviously it doesn't really matter where you are. It can happen to you anywhere. And I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you, what's your thoughts on a secret service agent getting robbed at gunpoint and having the bag stolen? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. This is just a sign of the times. Crime's out of control. A secret service agent, really? I mean, who in their right mind would do that? What was the purpose? What was the motivation? Was it a, a contract hit? I want to know who did this and why. Because there could be a much deeper motivation behind this than simply trying to get the person's bag or just to steal something, some kind of jewelry or something. I think there's a deeper motivation behind this and there could be some organized crime elements involved. Maybe even bigger than, like I said, your local gangland Los Angeles BS. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.